Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Uh, I'm going to be doing my weekly card hunting, uh, shopping haul, and mail day video. Um, and uh, let me see, this is a pretty good week for me. It's a pretty restful week for me. Um, on Monday, I didn't do anything. I didn't look for any cards. I might have ran to like a couple of Walgreens, but man, it is hard to find cards at Walgreens, man. I feel like I hit up the same Walgreens like three times a day for like a week straight, two weeks straight, and I hit nothing, man. Like, that's just, I don't know, I'm getting sick and tired of going to Walgreens. Yeah. But anyways, but yeah, oh, I oh, also want to preface, I'm, I'm using my mic in a new way, like in a, I'm trying to position it so that I hear less of my breathing, you know, and my voice doesn't sound too boomy and bassy and it sounds clear so you know um so part of me if my mic sounds different my voice sounds different you know i'm always tweaking it because um mic placement is a very 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 important thing and audio is a very very important thing um for videos and so part of me if it if it sounds a little different this week but yeah monday i didn't do anything and i think i'm done i think i'm done going to walgreens I'm trying to find the Series 2 hanger boxes from Walgreens at Walgreens. But, man, like like I said, like I go like three times a day for like two weeks straight, and I'm getting nothing, you know. And so it's not worth my time. It's not worth the gas. And so I think I'm just going to have to pay double the pr double retail price and get a couple hangers to open up on this, sh on this channel. So... But yeah, um, Monday, no luck. Tuesday, I woke up early around like 5.45 and uh, nothing dropped. Nothing dropped at Target.com. And so I was like, you know what? I've been sitting here all morning and I'm going to buy something. So I'm like, you know what? I think I'm going to buy. This is actually a Walmart um, giant box. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to buy a Target giant box and a Target blaster this morning. And so... I added the, uh, the I, I was surprised because the giant boxes were sold out. I was just like, what? These have been sitting on the site for like two and a half weeks and now they're sold out, right? And so that was weird. But then um, I was able to pick up this uh, blaster box. So at least I have this. Um, I really want to open up a giant, a Target giant box for the channel too but I don't know I don't want to pay I think they're going for like 55 to 65 bucks right now I don't want to pay that much money for a giant box like honestly I'd rather save my money for something else but we'll see we'll see you know now now I'm on the hunt for Walgreens hangers or series 2 and a series 2 giant box from from Target so we'll see if I can get them for a good deal or not um, but yeah but yeah, on Tuesday I ordered um, a Series 2 blaster, and I'm excited for it. Um, I'll open this up for the channel here. I'm actually, I'm really, really hoping that I get uh, the first Walmart blaster I opened. I got a Greg Maddox um, patch card, and so I'm hoping this one has a Randy Johnson patch card. Those are two guys that I PC um, that I really love. Um, so hopefully that's in there um but yeah i got that on thursday and man i was kind of disappointed because a lot of people have been saying like oh man like my stuff i ordered from target like it's the box is totally damaged and at first i was like oh that hasn't happened to me yet and then i got this package right here oh man look at that box right it's like totally compressed right and so i was like you know what this sucks um hopefully my car hopefully my blaster box is okay and uh, thankfully it was i mean it was like the only thing in the box like inside this box here it was like when you opened it it literally was just like a blaster and like like an order form and that's it you know there's no cushioning in these things you know target does not put any cushioning oops sorry about that hit the camera Target does not put any packaging materials or anything. Like I, I wouldn't even mind if they stuffed that thing full of packing peanuts, and and like 
every time I open it up to grab my product, like, it will be a big mess. I would totally take that big mess and guarantee that my cards are safe than it not having the packing peanuts, you know? But I don't know. Yeah, something's got to be happening during transit or during the packaging process because, I mean, I'm sure... This is just what I think, and, uh, you know, I'm thinking, like, you know, wherever, whoever's, like, packaging up these, this stuff for, like, Target.com, whether it's Target.com or whether it's MJ Holding or Excel or another distributor or another, it could be an Amazon warehouse that's, that Target's using to store this stuff. We don't know where it's really coming from. Um, my mailing label says it's, it comes from, like, Indianapolis. But then when I, like, start tracking this stuff on, like, UPS or, or yeah, UPS.com, I see Iowa a lot. So I don't know if it's coming from Indianapolis or from Iowa or it went from Iowa to Indianapolis and then Indian, or Indianapolis to Iowa and then to where I live. I don't know where or who's packaging this stuff up, but they need to do a better job because... People's cards are getting damaged, and man, like if they were just throwing some bubble mailers or packing peanuts, like it could solve a lot of headaches, right? And a lot of worry and stress, right? And so, what I think is happening is, you know, um, you know, Top sends Target a box full of, you know, our product, you know, maybe the, these blasters, and maybe there's like, you know, imagine you open up a box and you see, you know, like eight of these blasters, the top of them going this way, and you see another row of blasters below it. Where's my thumb? Here it is. Another like eight of them going this way, right? So you open up a box, and there's 16 blasters in there, right? You look at the order form. This guy ordered three. Grab three of them, throw them in a box, tape it up, and then you put it on a pallet, right? And I think it's it's when they put it on the pallet, that's where the danger comes in, right? Because they're not going to just take that one box and like walk it into a truck and put it inside that truck. No. They're going to take that box, your box, full of your product, and they're going to put it on a pallet, right? And then once that pallet gets too big, um, you know, they wrap that, that pallet up in like, it looks like saran wrap. You know, and then they use a forklift, and the forklift picks up that whole pallet and brings it into a truck, right? Um, that way they can just take that whole truck to UPS. UPS takes takes out pallet by pallet, unwraps the box, un un unwraps the pallet, grabs every individual box, scans it, puts it on the on a conveyor belt, right? And I think something's happening when they put all of our shipments on the pallet and then they wrap it up and then i don't know either the forklift is like running into our boxes or they're taking our pallets putting them in a box uh, putting them in a truck and they're, they're taking another pallet and putting it on top of our box uh, of our packages that have no cushioning inside and then that's why you're seeing boxes that are completely compressed like this box, right? I'm thinking this box was on the edge of a pallet and then they brought in another pallet and that pallet just hit this, hit the side of the pallet and just compressed this box. You know, they don't know. I mean, I mean if you've ever driven a forklift, it's hard to be gentle sometimes with a forklift, you know, and sometimes a forklift will just, you don't sense anything until it's almost too late, you know, like so that pallet is bumping into this pallet and it's just just smashing it in they're like oh okay who are and then you know they'll drop the pallet and they're like oh i thought i hit something maybe i didn't and they just leave it you know and so or maybe like when it's at ups and they're unloading these pallets to give to ups maybe ups is i don't know their 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 forklifts are like a little rough with the pallets and they're bumping these pallets into other pallets who knows i think that's kind of where all this damage is coming from because to see this kind of damage like i don't see this kind of damage happening with 
on a UPS delivery truck or a USPS mail truck. You know, I think it's it's happening when they ship like pallets of this stuff out. That's just my opinion. Um, I've worked a little bit in warehouses, and that's that kind of based upon my experience. That's kind of where I'm seeing a lot of this, where where a lot of this damage is coming from. But again, that's just my opinion. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Another interesting thing happened on Tuesday, uh, August second. Um, I was on a Discord, and someone said, "Hey, Target.com just cleaned up all their links." And I was like, "Oh, that's interesting." You know. And what was interesting was that even um, you know earlier that day, I wanted to try to buy a Series Two giant box from Target, but they were all sold out, right? And so then that link disappeared, and then also the link for Series 2 blasters disappeared. So I was like, oh, that's interesting. Like, maybe they sold out today. Who knows? Or maybe they were like, okay, like, we don't want any more of this product. Let's ship it back to MJ Holding or Excel, and we'll get a refund for it, you know, which Target does every now and then. Um, and so... Someone said, hey, Target.com cleaned up a bunch of their old links, their sold-out links. So that possibly means that there could be a drop tomorrow. And i that's the first time I've ever heard of anybody saying that. And I thought to myself, you know, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> it, it, I don't know, it makes sense to me, I guess. Uh, the logic makes sense. And so I was, I was getting super excited um, for Wednesday, right? So then on Wednesday... Um, Woke up again around like 5.45. Um, I was on my phone. And around a little bit after like 6 o'clock, someone on Discord was saying, hey, um, uh, they're seeing Xbox links being loaded and um, PS5 links being um, backloaded on, on the servers, right? And so usually that's a sign that, you know, if they are going to sell PlayStations or Xboxes that day, that's usually a sign that they're also going to sell sports cards, right? And so I was, I was still in bed till about like 6.20, um, just kind of like listening to YouTube and um, checking out Discord and stuff. And then someone said, hey, sports cards are being backloaded onto Target.com, which means that like, I don't know, if you can somehow, um, there are these moderators who somehow are able to see into the code on websites um, and on Target.com, and they're able to see, like, whoa, like, here's a page for, you know, sports cards that's being backloaded but it hasn't been made live yet. Like it, like you can't, the general public can't see it, but you can see it in the code, right? And so when, when I, when I saw that probably around like, I don't know, I think like 620 ish, I was like, Oh shoot. So I got out of bed, grabbed my wallet, went downstairs and opened up my computer and I just got everything ready, you know? And then I forget, maybe around like 630 ish, um, the, everything that was backloaded was made visible. And so like, if you searched up like sports cards on target.com, um, you saw a whole bunch of stuff you saw, let me see, there was, uh, prism draft picks, megas, blasters, and cellos. There was chronicles, draft picks, megas, and blasters. And they still had cellos from last week there too. Um, what else was there? The tops complete set was there. Um, there's some other stuff there as well, and there was Prism Basketball Megas, the Target exclusive version, and I was like, oh, shoot, and as soon as I saw that, man, I was just refreshing my my browser, like, every three seconds, and, like, I was seriously, like, my thumb was on command, and my pointer finger was, like, was, like, tapping R, refresh, like, every three seconds, right? And I must have done that for at least like, I don't know, 10 minutes, eight, 10 minutes. Um, and then all of a sudden I saw um, the Prism Basketball Mega website 
go from sold out to ship to, and then it said my had my zip code, right? And so when you see Target like load up all their product, um, it's gonna say sold out, right? And it doesn't mean that it's sold out. That's just like a generic setting. And then you just have to wait for it to say, like either add to my cart or ship to, you know, and it'll say your zip code, right? And as soon as it says, you know, add to my cart or ship to your zip code, that means it's live. And you, I think for these um, Prism basketball megas, I think people were saying like it was gone within like a minute, right? And for me, like that's all I need. If I have like 30 seconds, I can do it. I can check out stuff in like 30 seconds. Like I've, I like, I've set up everything on my target.com account already. I like almost know exactly where the buttons are to click. So like I'm almost like clicking like the button to advance to the next screen even before the button like fully loads. Like I've like I've like just turned it into muscle memory, right? And so man, I was able to grab three prism Oh, you can't see it all. I was able to grab these three bad boys. Three Prism Basketball Megas from Target.com. All right? So, like, dude, this is nice. Like, this is sweet. This is the second time I've been able to grab these. And it felt so good. I was so excited when I got these three. Right? And um, I received these on Friday. And... Magically, they were not damaged at all. They were completely fine. The box that it came in looked amazing, right? And so I'm super excited for these. Put these in the background here. And I guess I'll put that up there. Yeah, something like that. Turn this guy sideways. And so, yeah, super excited that I got these three boxes of Prison Basketball Megas. And so, yeah, that was my Wednesday. It was a good Wednesday. Um, and Thursday morning, I woke up around like 5.45 again. And I was like, ah, uh, I woke up around, wait, I woke up around like 4.45. Even earlier. And I was like, shoot, what do I do? Do I, like, I already spent a lot of money this week. Like, this is about 200 bucks worth of stuff, right? Or like, maybe like 150 hundred seventy dollars worth of product i was like i already spent a lot of money this week um what do i do do i go to do i get up and go to walmart and wait in line or do i pass and i decided to pass this is my first week of passing up on walmart in like the last two months um and i decided to pass for a couple reasons one reason was because you know i already spent a lot of money this week and I really have plenty of product um, to open up and um, based upon what I was seeing on Facebook and Discord and um, you know pictures of that people were taking of restocks um, people it seems like Walmart wasn't getting a lot of great stuff this week like I was seeing a lot of um, Chronicles draft picks products um, prism draft picks um, and like honestly, if there was a Chronicles or Prism Draft Picks um, Mega Box, I probably would have passed on it. You know, I don't really care for Draft Picks um, cards uh, type of products. Um, some some Walmart's were getting Gypsy Queen, um, some hockey, and maybe um, a, a little soccer. And like even if there was like a Mosaic Mega, I would have passed on it. Even if there was um, a Merlin Blaster. I might have grabbed the Merlin Blaster, but I wouldn't be super duper excited about it. And so this week, I was like, you know what? I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass on Walmart this week, even though I know if I wake up and go to Walmart and just wait for like another hour before they open, I know that I can get product, right? And in this world we live in right now, man, if you can get your hands on product, like you should just buy it, you know? So I decided to pass up on it, you know? Um... 
you know, I, like I, I wasn't seeing, no one was saying that they saw like prison basketball this week at, at their Walmarts. And so I just had a strong feeling too that, yeah, there's not going to be any prison basketball this week at Hard, at, at Walmart. Um, last week, there were a couple of Walmarts in my area that had prison basketball hangers and cello packs. And so I was like, okay, usually when you see hangers and cellos, you're probably not going to see like hangers and cellos again. Because usually I'll see like megas and blasters of a product first. And then the next week I'll see blasters and fewer megas. And then the following week I'll see hangers and cellos and then I don't see anything you know, for a while, you know, for like a, another week or two, you know, randomly, like a random, some random blasters will show up or, or some random hangers will show up. But so then kind of just based upon that information, I kind of had a feeling like this week there wasn't going to be any prison basketball and people weren't saying that select basketball was out yet either. And so I was like, okay, um, no select basketball this week either. Um, no tops Chrome this week. You know, I think Tops Chrome drops at the end of the month. So I was kind of like, you know what? I'm going to pass on Walmart um, this week. Um, so instead, on Thursday, I went to my local LGS. Um, and LGS stands for Local Game Shop, which is uh, an acronym used by um, trading, card, uh, um, trading card games. Um, you know, like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic. We call our shops LGSs, local game shops. While in the hobby world, we call our local shops local card shops, right? LCS. So I went to my local LGS, my local game shop, and I picked up some product here. And, you know, not, not, nothing amazing. But, I mean, it's always nice to load up on, on supplies. Picked up some... Um, top loaders and right now it's even hard to find top loaders I mean dude like breakers man breakers are just buying up so many top loaders man like it's crazy like you know I mean I watch a couple breakers and like they will sleeve up almost like if they're opening up like prison basketball or like select or any type of chrome product, I see them. I see some people sleeving up almost every single rookie card, uh, you know, and they're top loading like every good rookie card and every good, every, you know, silver card. And so my LGS had a whole bunch of penny sleeves and top loaders in stock, and there was a limit. And so I took my limit of uh, four top loaders and 10 penny sleeves, right? And the great thing about my um, LGS is that I've, I've got like this 10% off card. And so you know, like a box of top loaders um, only costs me uh, 450 a box, right? And then a pack of 100 penny sleeves only cost me 90 cents, which is great. You know, so people call these penny sleeves, but you know, for me, I can call them less than the penny sleeves. Um, so yeah. Like, it's always great to get product, you know, uh, to get supplies. So, um, yeah, so on Friday, um, I woke up around, like, 4 or 5 a.m. again. I was like, oh, man, what do I do? Do I want to go back out? Do I want to go look for cards, or do I just want to sleep in? And, and kind of using the same logic I used for Thursday morning, I was like, there's probably only going to be Chronicles draft picks, Prism draft picks, hockey, maybe some soccer, a little baseball. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to sleep in. Like, I don't want any of that stuff. Um, I'm just going to pass. I'm going to save my money and hopefully select basketball drops next week and I can get some of that. So I decided to sleep in and it was great. You know, I got to sleep in two mornings. You know, usually on Thursday and Friday mornings, I wake up at like 5 a.m. to get to my Walmart, you know. But this week, I got to sleep in, which was absolutely amazing, right? Absolutely amazing. So, um, 
um, you know, so overall, like, this was a great week. I can't complain about this week at all. I mean, I got some prism basketball. Got a hanger that I really am excited to open up. Uh, and I got lots of product. So, overall, a very, very, very good week. Um, you know, I'm still in the process of um, selling off some things and organizing my cards. I've got so many cards i got to organize. Um, and so, that's kind of what my focus is on. Um, in regards to baseball stuff, because I mainly open up baseball on my channel, um, I'm kind of waiting for, like, Allen and Ginter. There, I did see a picture of a Walmart in Texas or Florida, and they had Allen and Ginter on their shelves. Um, that was the only Walmart that I knew of that had received any Allen and Ginter. So I'm excited for that. I'm probably going to try to open up at least two blasters of Allen and Ginter. Um, but I mainly want to save up my money for select basketball and for Topps Chrome. I think Topps Chrome gets released on for at the end of the month. And and so I should be, I mean, it might we might see it at the end of the month at, on, in retail too. And so I'm kind of saving my money up for those things. And like I said, I'm in the process of selling a bunch of stuff. So if you um, want to see what I've got for sale, feel free, feel free to check out my eBay link in the description below. Um, so, yeah. So that was my week, man. Um, you know, uh, I hope all of you guys had a good week as well. I hope you guys are... Um, you know, successful with Target.com and I hope you guys are able to grab some select this week. And like we're all hoping for select basketball to drop this week and I hope you guys are able to get your hands on some stuff. You know, I'm just going to warn you guys now. Um, like it's going to be cutthroat out there and you're going to have to wake up I mean, usually if you get to your store at like an hour before they open, like I do, like you're going to have to get there at least an hour and a half, two hours before they open because, man, everyone is is thinking that Select Basketball is going to drop this week. And if you haven't watched anybody um, rip Select Basketball, oh, man, dude, it looks so good. It looks so good. Man, I can't believe how good it looks, man. So I'm excited to get some for the channel to open up for the channel. And um, for baseball, Alan Ginter. I'm hoping for Alan and Ginter. Um, so, yeah. Um, hope you guys have a good week. Um, and uh, best of luck out there. Uh, stay safe. Um, and, uh, yeah, like, it's going to be cutthroat out there. People are going to be on edge. So, um just be civil out there. Let's not get into fights. And let's just enjoy what we get. If, if someone in front of you is like, I'm going to get everything. Just be like, dude, like, don't be a jerk. All right. Like, everybody wants product. All right. Everybody wants to eat. Like, there's no need to say I'm going to take all the product. All right. Dude, just calm down. Let's just all split the product, all right? Like, there's no need for you to <laughs> you to say something like that, all right? All right? Stay safe out there, all right? And uh, best of luck, and I'll, I'll see you guys in my next video.